Hey everybody, Edo here, and this isn't my usual channel. I'm on Tiffany's channel because we, I would asked her to do a guest review for me. She's going to do diamonds. She asked me if I would do one for her. Absolutely, I'd love to. So we're doing a little bit of a swamp. One of the requirements of which is that I have to review something a little bit more completely. Not necessarily, you know, shaky cam, walking around in an airport style, which she's so good at, and I love that. I love her stuff. But, you know, just go into a little bit more depth about a, a game, explain it a little bit more, and actually do some B-roll and show it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm talking about Tribune. I really like this game. It's probably one of my favorite worker placement games. And, you know, it didn't do too, too well, I don't think. I mean, Fantasy Flight, nice components, nice box, nice theme. Um, but it just it hasn't stuck around as you might have thought it would, having played it. Things happen, I don't know why. Now... There are a lot of Roman names, a lot of Roman words. Uh, I'm not great at reading these, so you'll have to bear, excuse me, both in terms of looking at it and butchering the language. I apologize in advance. Also, we have Carl Heinz Schmiel, this is the game designer. I hope that's how you pronounce his name, it may not be. But, so the reason I like Tribune so much is the dynamic between two elements of the game. One is, that you win by accomplishing a subset of a series of goals. So there might be seven goals, eight goals. You pick a card, so it's different every time. But there are a number of goals that all the players are working towards, but you don't have to get all of them. You just have to get a handful of them. So players are able to win in many different ways. That's a fun thing in games in general. What's so great about it in Tribune and why it's such a so relevant in the worker placement space, and, and I, I, I wish more player people would play this game, is, you know, worker placement is inherently sort of competitive as you're trying to get spots, but quite a number of the worker placement locations and things you're going for put you in direct competition with other players, whether it's uh, an auction or bidding on, you know, in a bidding, an auction, buying cards, um, uh, or even gaining control of these factions. And... Um, Tribune is made up of a number of factions, and owning them gives you special abilities or rewards at the beginning of your next turn that, um, or when you take them, that give you great value. Tribune is actually like, if you took Battle Line by Canincia with the sort of rummy style set um, making of the cards, and then leveled it up, and made it into a Euro game and, and a worker placement game, uh, you might actually be able to do it. Like it, act, There's a lot of, between those two games. I, I feel a lot of the same sort of dynamics, and um, I love the play. So I really like Battle Line. I really like Tribune. Great Roman Empire stuff. Now, to get to the game, we've got this great board, and on the board, you have your typical number of worker placement locations. And so in terms of those locations, you have the Therme, um, the Forum Room, Monum, the Latrine, Curie, Atrium, Auctionorum, Catacombs, Pantheon, and Field of Mars, pronounced however you'd like. And the other thing you have are these faction cards, and there are a number of different factions. There are the Gladiators, uh, the Legates, uh, the Praetreons, Plebeians, Patricians, Patricians, <laughs> Festal Virgins, and Senators. I mean, this game is really about, like, can Ed pronounce these words? But each of these factions, in addition to your typical worker placement stuff to, to gain these cards, is at the top of the board, you have your faction control area. In order to take control of a faction, you must play at least two cards. You, you need to put the worker there and then play two cards to try, a uh, first player plays two cards of any value of that faction to take it. And then for somebody else to take that faction from you, they need to play two cards of higher value or three cards. And that's sort of where that battle line um, similarity comes in. So you're, in this game, you're working the board to draw cards. At the start of each round, you are going to deal out the entire board. Which is fun. You're going to Drop the face-up cards in, 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 in the Therme and the Forum, the face-down cards, the Denari and the different areas where you can get that. 
Um, and you are going to uh, essentially set up this board and then people are going to play. And as you're doing that, that's also you're also playing, I'm going to try to steal a faction. So you're thinking about the cards you're going to take in order to also take the faction. It sounds like a lot, but since you're just setting up the board, trying to collect cards, and then trying to collect sets with those cards, it's actually not that hard. It explains really well, and it's one of those games that's like, hey, let's play around, and I think you'll get it. That's the game. It's super fun. It's well worth the play. You might not even be able to find it. If it makes you uncomfortable to order something sight unseen, look for, some, look for it at somebody's house um, to play it, have somebody explain it to you. But lots of fun, great game. And, you know, worker placement's so popular, I think, because everyone's sort of playing in rounds as they go and taking turns, and it's highly interactive. And the way this game layers in interactivity and sort of player-to-player -player positioning with the sort of dynamic goals and, and being able to sort of target different goals to win really creates a rich and memorable experience. I like that it's short. It isn't the longest game. You can play through this game in 60 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Some people like longer games. Some people feel it ends a little early. I'm, I'm a game night guy that likes to play with casual players who likes to play through multiple games. It's perfect for me, and I definitely recommend checking it out. So big thanks to Tiffany for having me. I hope I did a good job on the channel. Again, no handy cam, but next time maybe I'll do it. And if you want to check out my stuff, you can see Edo's game, review, uh, Edo's game Reviews on my channel and otherwise. Play some good games. Thanks. Bye.